I'm going on holiday and I can't wait to go. So currently I'm in Johannesburg and we're going to go uh, to Durban. Now the first question I need to ask myself is this. How far is Johannesburg to Durban? What's the distance between those two cities? Now it's approximately 600 kilometers. Okay. Imagine if I were to say to you, well, approximately 600 million millimeters away. You're going to look at me and say, geez, like, what are you talking about, Bree? In the same way, if I look at this pen, and I were to say to you, this pen is approximately 15 centimeters long. Imagine if I say to you, this pen is approximately 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0015 kilometers long. You're going to look at me and say, but have you lost the plot here? Okay. Why are you changing this to kilometers when it's just such a small little thing? And in the same way, what we need to understand is this, that there's certain times when we're going to use kilometers and there's certain times when we're going to use millimeters or even centimeters. But we have to know how to convert millimeters to centimeters to meters to kilometers. Okay? And in the same way, we've got to know how to convert kilometers to meters to me centimeters to millimeters. It's all part of the section that we're going to look at, and that's the section on conversions. So I want us to have a look at this. We're going to look at length. Now, length, we know that we can have things in kilometers, in meters, centimeters, and millimeters. Now, the difference between a kilometer and a meter is a thousand. In other words, there are a thousand meters in one kilometer. So if I were to take a meter stick, and I'm sure you've seen them at school, your teachers have these long rulers, okay? And they're there to measure a meter. My teacher, when I was at school, didn't use that stick to measure a meter. They used that stick to clop us a hard shot, okay? But nowadays, teachers are nice, they don't do that. So we've got a meter stick. If I take that meter and I measure out a thousand of them, Okay, go right off the screen, measuring a thousand. That distance is the same as a kilometer. Now, in the same way, if I take centimeters to meters, I know there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So I measure a little centimeter, and you all know how big a centimeter is. You can see it on your ruler. Take a centimeter and measure a hundred of those, and eventually you will get your meter stick. Okay, then there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So 10 millimeters make a centimeter, 100 centimeters make a meter, and 1,000 meters make a kilometer. When I'm doing my conversion, if I'm going that way, I'm going to multiply. If I'm going backwards, I'm going to divide. And we will show you how to do those conversions in examples a little bit later on. Let's have a look, though, at volume. At volume, we're looking at, for example, the amount of water. So I know that there are a thousand milliliters in a liter. So if I take a little bit of water, a little millimeter, and I make a thousand of those, I'm going to get one liter. If I take a thousand liters, I'm going to get a killer liter of water. Right. Now, if I look at weight, weight works exactly the same. Milligram, there are a thousand milligrams in a gram. There are a thousand grams in a kilogram and a thousand kilograms, the same weight as my mother-in-law, makes a ton. Okay, so one ton is a thousand kilograms. What we need to remember as well is this, that if I'm converting from a ton to a kilogram or a ton to a gram or a ton all the way to a milligram, I'm going to multiply it. If I'm going the other way, converting milligrams to grams or to kilograms or to tons, I'm going to divide. Okay, 
very simplistic. Now, in fact, these kind of things, I would expect my students to know. I would expect them to know these figures over here, that they're 10 millimeter and a centimeter, 100 uh, centimeters in a meter and 1,000 meters in a kilometer. I expect my students to know that. I expect my students to know that there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter, that there are 1,000 liters in a kilometer. I expect my students to know there are 1,000 milligrams in a gram, there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram, and there are 1,000 kilograms in a ton. My students must know this. Sometimes the examiner may be really, really in a good mood and give you those conversions, okay? But I always say to my students, guys, you should know this because this is stuff you use every day of your life. And remember, mathematical literacy is all about everyday life. So let's see how we can apply some of these concepts. Now, convert the following units and look here, it says here, remember to show all your calculations. And folk, that's absolutely critical. Mathematical literacy, you're getting marks for showing your working. You're getting part marks in every question that you're given. So show the examiner what you're doing. Because you might have made a mistake with the actual calculation, but your working might be correct. And so you could at least pick up one out of two marks. And like I say to my students, one out of two marks is not one mark, it's actually 50% for that question. So if I get zero out of two marks, guys, I'm actually getting 0% for that question. If I get one out of two marks, I'm actually getting 50% for that question. Whoa, so it's not just one mark, it's 50%. See it like that, and then you'll understand the value of every single mark I could possibly get in any test or examination. Okay, so a leaf, we told, is 25 millimeters long. How long is it in centimeters? So I have my millimeters, and I have centimeters. We know we have a jump of 10. If I'm going that way, I'm going to multiply. If I'm going backwards, I'm going to divide. So we've got 25 millimeters, and I'm going from millimeters to centimeters. Millimeters to centimeters, there's a jump of 10, and because I'm going this way, I'm going to divide. So 25 millimeters divided by 10 is going to give me 2,5 centimeters. Right, a sofa is 187 centimeters long. How long is it in meters? So we know we've got millimeters, we've got centimeters, and we've got meters. The jump here is 10, the jump here is 100. I know if I go that way, I'm going to multiply. If I go backwards, I'm going to divide. I've got 187 centimeters. I'm wanting to change it to meters, so there's a difference of 100. Okay? Because I'm going this way, from centimeters to meters, I'm going to divide. So 187 centimeters divided by 100 is going to give me 1,87 meters long. This is good stuff, eh? It's actually quite easy. It's kind of cool. Right, next one. Harry's household uses 1,023 liters of water per month. How many, how much water do they use in kiloliters? Now remember, we had milliliters, we had liters, we had kiloliters. The jump is a thousand. The jump is a thousand. If I go this way, I multiply. If I go backwards, I divide. We've got 1,023 liters. From liters, we're going to kiloliters. Okay, we're going to you have a jump of a thousand because we're going from liters to kiloliters we're dividing we divide that and i get one comma zero two three kiloliters folk this is so easy isn't it of course it's easy and it's lacquer marks those. it really is so easy to get these marks however i have to know my conversion rates i have to know they're 10 millimeters in a centimeter 100 centimeters in a meter thousand meters in a kilometer. Let's have a look at this example. A tin contains 3,5 liters of paint. How many milliliters of paint is in the tin? 
Okay, so again, we said we had milliliters, we had liters, we had kiloliters. The jump here is a thousand. If I go this way, I'm timesing. If I go backwards, I'm going to divide. I've got 3,5 liters. I'm changing it to milliliters. So there's a jump of a thousand. And because I'm going from liters to milliliters, I'm going to multiply. My calculator will do this for me and tell me that my answer is 3,000. 500 milliliters. He has like this is exciting stuff. Okay, next one. The cover of a book is 16,2 centimeters long. How long is this in millimeters? So again, millimeters to centimeters, I know there's a jump of 10. If I go that way, I'm getting timesing. If I go backwards, I'm dividing. I've got 16,2 centimeters i'm changing it to millimeters centimeters to millimeters is a jump of 10. i'm going from centimeters to millimeters going this way multiply so my answer is 162 millimeters this is not hard at all hey a medicine tablet weighs 50 milligrams how much does the tablet weigh in grams so we've got milligrams i've got grams we said the jump is a thousand. If I go this way at times, if I go backwards, I divide. I've got 50 milligrams. Milligrams, I'm changing to grams. The difference is a thousand. Because I'm going from uh, milligrams to grams, I'm going this way, I'm going to divide, sorry, milligrams to grams, yeah? I'm going to divide it by a thousand. So my answer is 0, 0,05 grams. Our last example on this page, a shopping bag weighs 2,850 grams. How heavy is the bag in kilograms? Okay, so we've got grams and I've got kilograms. I know the jump is 1,000. If I go this way, I'm timesing. If I go back, I'm dividing. I know I've got 2,850 grams. I'm going to change it to kilograms. There's a difference of 1,000. Because I'm going from grams to kilograms, I'm going this way, I'm going to divide. Divide it, and I get 2,85 kilograms. Okay. Quite a heavy bag, eh? Clearly, it's not my wife's bag, because if it's my wife's bag, it's about 102,85 kilograms. Gee, women put amazing things in their bag. It's amazing. It's about this big, and yet the stuff that comes out of that bag, it just boggles the mind. Conversions. It's fun, it's easy, it's nice marks. Let's have a look here. Do the conversions. A tennis court is 23,78 meters long. We're going to convert that to centimeters. Okay. Again, guys, we know we've got millimeters, we've got centimeters, we've got meters, we've got kilometers. The jump from meters to centimeters we know is 100. If I go this way, I'm timesing. If I go backwards, I'm dividing. Okay. Now, please take note, guys, that every time I'm doing one of these examples, I'm writing this stuff out all the time. I would do that if I were you. I'd take my question paper and I would do this. Right, centimeters to meters, that's 100. If I go this way, it's times. If I go that way, it's divide. I'm showing all my stuff here. I, I need to know what I'm doing. It's going to help me. Then I write 23,78. I'm going from meters to centimeters. There's a difference of 100 here. And because I'm going from meters to centimeters, I'm going this way. I'm going to multiply. So my answer is 2,378 centimeters. Another example quickly, and you're just going to get used to doing these. And guys, when I learn for exam, this is the kind of thing I'm going to do. Just do example after example after example after example. Because the more I do, the more confident I'm going to be when I come to my examination. Okay, so Tabisa fills a bath with 23,7 liters of water. How much water is this in milliliters? Now we know milliliters to liters, there's a difference here or a jump of a thousand. If I go this way, I times. If I go this way, I divide. So I've got 23,7 liters. 
I'm going to make a jump of a thousand because I'm going from liters to milliliters. I'm going that way. I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to actually end up with 23,700 milliliters. Okay. I'm not going to do very many more examples because you need to get into the idea of just doing example after example after example. Okay. In summary, then, in the segment, we've covered the following. We've converted various uh, measurements from one unit into another. And guys, when we get to the section on perimeter, and we get to the section on area and volume, you're going to have to understand then how important it is to be able to make conversions between different units. We'll chat again straight after this ad. Cheers.